All right, people, we're going to do a quality update on a Bouge Bouge battery. And you're going to see what's inside this battery. Now, these things are sealed so well that people have to take a hacksaw to them to get them open. They're just not easily opened. And so I've come up with a conclusion by finding a few of them online examples of what to look for. And there's numerous things we're going to show it to you here. So let me show you what we're going through when we're trying to charge this. And it was originally for this and it didn't work out. So let's go and take a look. RV, Bouage, maybe French. Who the hell knows, right? Spelled in China. All right, I've got one of these batteries with a self-heating function, and I was going to take it and put it over here because I was using this outside with a chainsaw, and my little batteries here can't handle the cold, and right now it's cold, you know, below freezing. So I decided, well, I'm going to take this one because it's self-heating. Yay, right? Right? And it won't do it. I mean, it's a pretty new battery. And I've never really used it. But when I took it over here, I'm like, well, this is my, go look at my channel there. I'll put a link to this video. But I already know that the Power Queen will kick the crap out of any battery so far I've gotten. So I went and put a Power Queen in it. See, that right there. Now, if you want one of them, I'll put a link below the video. But this is a real easy setup I did. And I decided I wanted a, here, let me show you. Because some people ain't going to see this video. So here's the push button. And so it'll, it'll run for about two or three hours. All right, now, it's a cool little electric mower. It's the Sun K model for Kira. All right, back to this piece of crap. And no, I ain't using tripod right now. I got ticked off at it. I hooked it up. I actually made that crate to where this battery, this battery, would fit for later use because those batteries eventually go into a lineup. I got a bunch of homemade salvage batteries, and I wanted to put that bouge battery in there, bouge, whatever. So I got over here, and I got my little charger set up, and I was going to charge this battery up, and I'm looking at it, and I'm going like, well, that damn thing's reading the full voltage. But it, as soon as you turn on the inverter, dead i go over and take a little hot pot three and a half amps it runs it for some reason i put in two hot pots i never tried that dead i'm like what the hell so i get over here and i hook this up and i want you to look 4.45 volts right now okay now i can hook this thing up with a load test and dead immediately but here's the kind of cool part now watch this down here i'm gonna slap the top of this here Brand new $500 battery. And you see them numbers jumping around? The amps? I just slapped the battery. You see that? Now you tell me. This is glued better than grandma's teeth. It ain't coming out. And I got a problem here. I got to tear this battery open. These people, I don't know, warranty, hello, uh, so they're not interested, and the fact that it's now over, what, six months, um, haven't put it into full use in six months, but something inside, whether it's in here or in here, is shorted out, because right now, look at it, it's pulling amperage, here, let me slap it again, let me slap it again, here, watch this. And it's, and it's only pulling so many watts, too. Look at that. Watch. Look at that. See that? Now, you talk about freaking crazy. That's a 500, 600. They were. They're not like five four ninety nine, $600 battery. And it, like I said, man, this thing here is going to have to be peeled like a freaking banana to get it open. We'll open it up, and we're going to see what went wrong with it. Power queen. This little compact power queen. Man, I'm so damn glad I bought those. Freaking good. That right there is the only thing that works. 
Just thought I'd do a quick video here so y'all can see this. And I'm sure, see there it's showing again zeros. I'm sure you guys got some kind of answer for this. Battery shouldn't do this. And don't worry. Them are tight. You can wiggle the whole damn battery with it. You see? They're not, it's not these ain't loose. It's something in this battery. All right, as you saw there in the video, I just give you some little excerpts because there's a lot of banging on this battery to make it react. However, um, when you hook it up to the inverter, and as soon as you immediately turn the inverter on, the battery just disconnects, shuts off. Will not take a proper charge, is not behaving properly, and what we got in there right now is we have a camera. So I'm going to show you what we're working with here um, on the camera. Now, this is the little camera tool that I got here a while back and it seems to be a pretty good thing. So here is the BMS connector right here. You see that in the middle of the screen? You can get a little closer. That is the connector. Now you can't hardly tell it from this angle, but it is loose. It should be driven all the way up. Now how does that affect us? Well, if we can take a look at this. I'll put them in here together. And you can see that this is attached to the battery, but it's blank. Now, I'm going to take very carefully, and I'll show you how this, how I drilled this out. So you see this drill out that's done right here? I'll show you how I drilled that out and how I determined that. But as far as depth, it's about an inch and three-eighths deep before you hit anything in there whatsoever in this battery, see? And there's another little issue you're going to see right there, right there in that picture that's enough to make you upset. I took a, a thermal reading on it once I did make it work for a second and only got warm on one side. So we're gonna go in here together very carefully with this here screwdriver. Of course, everybody wants to put a metal screwdriver inside of a battery, right? And I'll show you here, you see this movement here. Let me do it with a uh, zip tie here. You see the movement here. So as you'll see right here, I'm going to get that little zip tie and get it over here near it. And I'm kind of running blind here, trying to see how I'm hitting here. This thing here is just loose. With a little zip tie, see it? I can move that with a little bitty zip tie. Now, you'll see right up in here in the camera that this right here does not come back on. Now, I'm going to take something a little more capable here and I'm going to reach down and push I'm trying to do this kind of blind guys so I'm going to reach down and push y'all look at that meter as soon as I can get this on there see that meter just come on it says thermodyne on it this is the the battery BMS see how much further that went on okay so we have that little problem and now you can see by the meter right here that it's powered back up showing 12.94 volts. Problem is that ain't even accurate. So let's go ahead and push it a little more with the, on the other side. I'm blowing my hand off or nothing stupid. So see how much more that's going on. Now we're going to, we're going to hook up a inverter to it. And turn the inverter on, you see a little bit of volts drop. Now, look at that. You see what it just did? 13.47. So, we're like, what in the hell's going on with this battery? Maybe it's got something to do with, and let me get over here. This is kind of hard for me to navigate. But if you look right down here, why don't you look where my finger's pointing at? Right there. I'm going to try to get down there towards it. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so it's a little far off, but... You see that terminal in there hanging around by itself? You see that metal contact it's next to? That's the top, that's the, the battery's laying on this side. So that's literally almost touching the battery and it runs that direction. It's part of this heater. So now the heater is not working properly. So the communications or the, the system in there that operates the heater in there is only working on one side, which is that side. See that side right there? It's working. 
This side is not. Terminal just hanging around in there. Now this is a brand new battery. And 600 bucks for this battery. I, I don't know. I think they're cheaper than that now. But it was bought deliberately to be used. And I don't know if what I'm doing is going to be a cure or if it's just the whole system is just garbage now. But it was to be mounted in that. And apparently, these people don't reply. So, <sighs> Bouge, Boje. See that? And these ain't loose. They're not loose. I can drag the battery around with them. They're not, they're not loose. So, there's a problem. Sorry, Bougie, but you get a negative as a review. You guys be good. Buy better quality. Stick with the Power Queens. <laughs> sure as hell ain't. I'll put you a link down there below. Sure as hell ain't buying nothing more of that. I want my money back, Amazon.